In this video series, we're going to learn how to create an animated visualization of the selection sort algorithm. You may want to watch these videos in the intended order, so check out the description for the link to the playlist. In this video, we're going to start creating our user interface for our selection sort visualization. At this point, you should have something that looks like this, but most likely, you won't have the numbers in front of the cubes and your colors will look different. By the end of the video, we're going to have a user interface with a start button and a reset button. We're also going to have a text field which allows us to specify the number of cubes we want to sort. Let's load up our previous project and make sure we have the aspect ratio set to 16 by 9 in the game view window. Next, we need to add a canvas game object to our scene hierarchy. Now I'm going to arrange two buttons and an input field and change their dimensions to something I like the look of. I'm also going to set the placeholder text for the input field to indicate that it's for a number of cubes. Now we're going to make it so we can create an instance of our selection sorted cubes entirely from the code. Looking at the code, I want to make sure the selection sort process doesn't start automatically. So I'm going to change the name of this function from start to something like start sort. By doing this, we're removing this code from the Unity code execution lifecycle. We'll also make this function public so we can call it from elsewhere. To create an instance of this from our code, we need to first make it a prefab. We can do this by dragging the game object from the scene hierarchy into our project window. You can see we now have a prefab asset called cubes, so let's delete the instance that exists in our scene. Now we want to create the script to handle our menu. I'm going to add mine to the canvas game object in the scene and call it selection sort menu. Opening up this script, I'm going to create a public variable of type selection sort script, which was the type of the script attached to our selection sort prefab. Switching back to Unity, we can now assign this variable by dragging it from the project window to the field on the script component. Next, let's create two functions named start sort and reset sort. These functions are the ones we want to call on button click. We'll also create a public variable to reference our input field to get the number of cubes desired. Finally, we'll create a variable that's also of type selection sort script to store the currently instantiated game object. This will let us destroy it when we click reset. Let's write the start sort script. We'll use the instantiate function to create an instance of our selection sort. This is then assigned to the active sorter variable. Then we'll set the number of cubes we want to sort to be whatever the user has entered into the input field. For this, we'll need to indicate that we're using the system library and use convert.toint32 to convert it from a string to a number. And then we'll call start sort to begin our animation. Let's hook this function up to the button using Unity. The code for the reset sort function is relatively straightforward. We want to invoke the destroy function and pass it the game object of the active sorter. Let's hook this function up to the button using Unity. Now, if we click run, we can use our interface to start sorting cubes of the specified height. And we can reset the process whenever we like. One important thing to keep in mind is that we have no error checking. This means you can click start over and over and get unintended behavior, or even enter something other than a number which will also cause problems. That's it for this video on adding a user interface to our selection sort visualization.
Thank you.